let's start with that music service, Emily. Obviously for Google, they want to keep people using Android devices, whether that's phones or tablets. And if you've got a Spotify like music service, maybe that's a way to keep people interested in using Android devices. But we're also talking about the evolution of music. Uh, Google already had the ability to sell you music through its own store, Google Play, the same way that you can buy music through Apple, through iTunes. Uh, but at the same time, we've moved beyond the CD, right? iTunes basically ended the CD story, but now you've got these streaming services like Spotify that are quickly changing the story of iTunes and Google Play. People aren't just necessarily going out and buying music that they find in a store. They're having these streaming services that can allow the music to come right to them. So that's where Google sees the opportunity and to use their own technology to recommend different music to you, maybe thinking their technology is better than that of Spotify. The price tag of $9.99 a month, $10 a month, I think will still be a hurdle for some consumers. We've definitely seen Spotify find a way to move people from its ad-supported radio business to paid subscribers. But it is the thing that we're still working out. Google just feeling like they've got to get into the game. Emily? So, John, we're going to talk a little bit more about the music thing in a moment. But first, let's talk about this event yeah. and the focus on developers. How does all of this attention develop to developers make money for Google? Well, it is pretty incredible. You highlighted the number of Android device activations that we've seen. Now at 900 million a couple of years ago, it was 100 million. Last year, 400 million. So it's a reminder of how quickly Google's been able to benefit from Android and benefit by being able to get people to use their services like Gmail, uh, Google Plus, when they're using these Android devices. For the developers, though, who are making apps that inter integrate with these services, they want to get paid money. One thing that Google said is that in the last four months, developer payments through Google Play have been more than what we saw in all of last year. But the, the story on how Google makes money is advertising. So if you're using more Google services on those Android phones, ultimately that helps them to charge more ad bucks overall. Emily? Now, there's also a big focus, John, on gaming today at the keynote. You yeah. know, talk to us about Google's strategy. You know, who are they trying to take on with games? Clearly, they're going after Apple. Uh, Apple has something called the Game Center. One of the things you have to know about what people are downloading, what kind of apps they're choosing, they're choosing a lot of games. They're very popular, so developers know, hey, if we make a game, we could make a lot of money. The challenge for Google had been uh, they didn't really have as much services to help make people more interested in downloading those games through an Android. So now they're introducing a bunch of services that are very similar to what Apple already has through its own game center, things like inviting people to come play games with you. And I think that's very much the focus of today, waving to the crowd, the developers who also develop for Apple, and saying, hey, stick with Google. 